Two weeks ago, the Council uh, received a letter from the ECB uh, re uh, requesting uh, assistance uh, in terms of Durham County Cricket Club. Uh, I think it's well known uh, and on the record in terms of the difficulties that the Cricket Club have found themselves in uh, in recent weeks. Uh, now clearly uh, as a county council, uh, uh, as the uh, major uh, public sector body in this area, uh, it's important that we are a major part of whatever happens moving forward and I think uh, it was a positive that uh, we've been written to in terms of requesting uh, our help uh, with whatever solution was found moving forward. So what exactly have we agreed today following that request from ECB? Uh, Cabinet has agreed today that uh, the outstanding loans uh, from the Cricket Club, which date back a number of years, uh, will be transferred into redeemable preference shares in a new company moving forward. Now what that does is it puts the new company, the new cricket club, on a uh, sustainable footing, a, a surer footing moving forward, but it also gives the council a stake in that club moving forward. Uh, and uh, it seems to me that uh, th th that is a positive thing, that the uh, council should be involved the Cricket Club is an important part of County Durham, it is an important part of the North East, it needs our support and this is a way of providing that support, albeit in a different way, which also still has the probability of receiving repayments in future years once the Cricket Club is back on an even keel. What was the alternative? Uh, the alternatives would have been very difficult. Uh, really there were only two alternatives. Uh, one would have been to uh, write off the loan completely, uh, which we felt wasn't the right thing to do, uh, because in these difficult financial times we need to make sure we get as much as we can for finance that we put in, uh, whether uh, that's to the cricket club or to different organisations. Uh, the other option would have been to have walked away and said we don't want to be involved, but because of the loans outstanding, it's quite possible that that would have led to the club going into administration, uh, possibly losing its first class status, and certainly uh, all uh, one day internationals, which are still uh, secure at the moment moving forward in the next few years. So the future would not have been uh, a good one had we walked away. Uh, needless to say, the council would also have lost all its money uh, as well. Uh, so we feel that the decision Cabinet have made today is the right decision uh, to make. Uh, it means that we are supporting the Cricket Club moving into the future, hopefully on a much more firmer footing uh, and one which allows it uh, to uh, get back to the success uh, which it had already demonstrated in, uh, in past years and it continues to allow us to showcase Durham and the North East to the wider world. Why does the club matter so much to us? Um, the Cricket Club brings profile, it brings visitors into County Durham and it brings a boost to our economy. Uh, so every time uh, there is uh, a match, particularly international games, uh, pictures of the, uh, of the ground, of Lumley Castle, of the beautiful surroundings go all the way around the world. And you can't put a value on that. Uh, that is of uh, huge value to the profile uh, of the region. It counters a lot of myths that still exist uh, about the North East. It, it's a, a, a very, very positive thing to have. Um, the Cricket uh, Club brings visitors, thousands of visitors from across the country and internationally as well, and those visitors spend money, they stay in our hotels, uh, and that economic impact is an important one uh, for County Durham, for the whole of the North East. Uh, this is something that's been built up gradually over 25 years. A lot of people have spent a, a, a lot of time, a lot of effort, building the Cricket Club up from its previous minor county status to one where it is now uh, the equal of counties such as Yorkshire and Lancashire. We can't let that die. We have to do what we can to keep Durham as a thriving cricket club in a thriving county moving forward. And that's what we've chosen to do this morning. And there'll be another opportunity, presumably, for that in the um, World Cup matches that ECB have referenced coming to Durham moving forward. Uh, we very much uh, look forward still to having one-day internationals in 
uh, Durham, including matches in the World Cup in 2019, which will be a huge event right across the northeast.